I've uh I've never cheated on a test. Don't get me wrong, I've cheated at other shit, just not on, not on a test. One reason for that is is because to cheat on a test, it just seems like like you it's like a lot to do, you know what I mean? And honestly, I'll just I mean like I'll I'll just fail. It's not that hard. I've also always been really bad at math, like irritatingly bad. Not for me, but for people who try and teach me, I'm so sorry. Not really geometry or statistics. I actually understand those, but algebra, I don't I don't, and I don't know if some of y'all like to be oh no, dude, I could totally teach you algebra. No, no, you can't. No, you can't. I've never passed an algebra class, ever. Didn't pass it in middle school, didn't pass it in high school, didn't pass it in college. The first, fourth, third, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. I've failed so many algebra classes that at one point my college was like, look, you can't, you can't take this class no more. I was like, well, why, why don't I just take pre-algebra? Let me take that. And they was like, bro, we already put you in the pre-algebra and in the pre-pre-algebra and you, you fail both of them, dog. Some of my best friends are geniuses. They've tried to teach me. No, I just don't get it. It's not, I just, I just it's not getting it. So that being said, I've never had confidence in math and more specifically algebra. So when I was in like 10th grade, I was in algebra. Maybe it was pre-algebra. I don't know. Eventually I failed the class anyway. It doesn't matter. But for like the first time, I studied for like 10 minutes. I really put some effort into trying to learn this shit for this upcoming test that we had. The teacher, I don't, I don't remember his name, but he was a bitch. Okay. Like a for real piece of shit. And I don't mean that like in like a metaphor. I mean, he was actual creature waste excurted violently uh, through an anus is what he was. He was shit. And he didn't like nobody, least of all me, because I'm legally blind, so I don't pay attention and I'm disruptive in class. Also, I was albino and black, and those were two other things he didn't particularly like. Also, as I previously mentioned, he was a bitch. So anyway, this test comes up, and I had studied my ass off, and I, I felt really good about it, and I knew a lot of the answers. I really felt good, and I was getting them right. The next day comes, I'm waiting for that score. I'm hoping, man, come on, give me, come on. I really tried this time. Let me, let me, come on now. I get my test back. It's a B plus. It's a B plus, y'all. I ain't never get no B pluses in math, ever. So I'm feeling myself. I'm like, yeah, y'all. <laughs> he got that B plus. Yeah, man. You know, when you get a good grade, I'm trying to act like I don't care. Like, I'm like, yeah, man, I just got like a B plus and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even know. Class is going, you know, class is almost out. So everybody's kind of getting their shit together. He asked me to come up, come outside with him real quick. I'm like, yeah, I think he's going like, you know, be like, hey, good job. I want to just let you know that like, I, I know you've been struggling, but like, good job, man. Get, good job on that B plus, man. I see you really, it's hard for you. I understand it's hard for you, but you showed your fucking ass out right now with that B plus. Congratulations. That's not what he wanted. He wanted to accuse me of cheating is what he wanted. He takes his fucking colonel sanders ass finger and pokes it in my chest and he's like you cheated you're not this smart tell me how you did it at at this time in my adolescence i had a bit of a temper so i i, I said some things because because here's the thing i was so proud of myself i hated coming to school i hated going to school so much that my mom would give the guidance counselor the keys to the house and just so he would come and pick me up because otherwise i wouldn't go I was teased, tortured, and beat up on a daily. Teachers didn't like me, kicked me out of class, called me a nigga and all that type of shit. Students would do the same shit. I didn't have no allies or friends or nothing. Teachers called me stupid. Students called me stupid. I felt stupid. I, I was stupid, but still. And the one time I actually apply myself and try, the first thing that the motherfucker think is that you must have cheated, you idiot. And then had the nerve to do it in front of the class. At first, my anger was logical. You think I cheated? How? How the fuck did I cheat? I'm, I'm legally fucking blind and you know that. How the fuck did I fucking cheat? Like, how did I cheat and you missed it? How, how was how, my vision's bad? Your vision's perfect. How did I cheat and you missed it? You stupid at your job if you're saying that I cheated. I would have literally had to be inside someone else's seat asking them the goddamn questions because I can't even fucking read their handwriting if I was to cheat. How did I, how did I do that? I appreciate you think I'm that clever, but I'm not. I didn't cheat at all, motherfucker. It didn't even cross my goddamn mind. How about that? And then the logic started to leave and it just got raggedy. You accusing me of cheating? What about you? You obviously cheating on success having this job, ain't you? You cheating a broken hip every time you hit the steps, you old ass motherfucker. Fuck you and your suspenders. Who wears suspenders? I bet you just use them to hold up your old ass balls, you crusty bitch. Looking like Colonel Sanders with Down syndrome. Look like you need to wear a bib to speak. Your bitch made cracker. And by the way, that means your mom's a bitch and she made your cracker ass. 
How about I cheat this motherfucking chair inside your goddamn hair? How, how, how about I take this motherfucking chair and you ask me if you can see me cheating and I'm going to hit you in the face with it? How about that? By this time, everybody's out in the hallways and everybody's listening to me go off on this motherfucker. By this time, I've lost it. I'm 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 gone. I'm poking him in his chest and shit. I start saying wild shit. He tell me to stop poking him in the chest. And I say, but my cheat paper's inside your chest. Won't you open your shirt up, bitch? I don't even remember what that means. I was being so loud that the the the... The guidance counselor who normally come pick me up at home heard and he came out there and he grabbed me and took me to his office because I was still I was gone. I was cussing too. This is a predominantly white school. There's like two thousand kids and eight kids black and they don't they don't never heard nobody cuss like this. It's all types of pussy niggas and fuck niggas all get, getting thrown at this fucking boy head. As I'm being dragged away, I think the last thing I said was, I hope you use math to figure out how many days left your wife has to live before she dies or some shit. I can get mean when I get angry. So we go to the office and he's trying to tell the principal that I, I cussed at him and shit like that. And at this point, I'm already, I'm already mad. I don't give a fuck anymore. So I'm telling the principal every time he's like, Nathan, what happened? I'm like, how about you suck my dick? How about you suck my whole ass dick? And they trying to be like, Nathan, that's unproductive. Productive these nuts. They threatened to suspend me. I'm like, fucking do it. I don't like coming to school. They never threatened to expel me though, because something I knew was that because I'm black, because I'm albino, because I'm legally blind, because of all those things, the school gets money just for having me there. I knew this because the motherfuckers wouldn't let me transfer to a different school. So I knew they wouldn't expel me. So I continued to come up with creative ways to tell them to lick my wad. You know what I mean? Finally, I was done. So I got up and said, how about you suck my dick, you lick my ass, and I'm going to go to my next class. Anybody got a problem with that? I didn't fucking think so. Walked out. I didn't go to my next class. I just went home. May have cried a little. I didn't really get in trouble for that shit because there wasn't anything they could do. They knew they couldn't do anything. I didn't give a fuck at that point. So there was little that they could do. Also, my guidance counselor knew I was right. Because even when I'm mad, I'm logical. So in the principal's office, I'm like, okay, so let me get this straight. I actually try. I study my ass off. I have a disability. I do well and I get accused of cheating. The black blind kid accused of cheating. Everybody else, fine. They get to keep their grip. After that, I was never... I was never accused of cheating. Matter of fact, they pretty much left me alone in any math class I took. And I failed all of them. I failed every math class I ever took in high school. Every math class I ever took in college and at community college. At least algebra. At least algebra. Like I said, past statistics, past geometry. Sometimes I still think about that teacher because he taught me a good lesson. He taught me that that sometimes when the when the when the moment is right. You got to tell a motherfucker to lick your sack. You know what I mean? The whole goddamn thing.